Good morning, Guile. Today's bedtime stories and our story here in, in the kindergarten classroom is going to be the little red hen makes a pizza. And if you've ever read the little red hen, a lot of times she um, you know, makes some bread, but today she's going to make a pizza. So let's get started and find out what happens in the story today. The little red hen makes a pizza. The little red hen had eaten her last slice of pastry of, of her tasty loaf of bread. She slipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again. So she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza? She said to herself. She rummaged through her pan drawer. There was a bread pan, cake pan, muffin pans, frying pans, and all kinds of pans, but not one single pan was large and round and flat. Cluck, she said, I need a pizza pan. She stuck her head out of the window. Good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. And not I, said the cat. Very well, then I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store and she bought a pizza pan and a large mixing bowl and a pizza slicer and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice and sugars and spices and jars of jam and jars of honey and even pickled eggplant, but no flour. Cluck, she said, I need flour. She stuck her head out the window. Hello, she said, who will run to the store and give me some flour? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket, bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Cluck, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella. So she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So the little red hen went to the del delicatessen. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, and a can of eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make the pizza dough? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the, fl so she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and she stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and spun it around her head several times. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up high in the air one last time for good luck and put it on her pizza pan. Then she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will help me make the topping? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next, she opened her can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, and some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked so, it looked just right. She put it in the oven and sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. Pretty soon the delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. Mmm, -mm, look at that pizza. It was lovely, but it was not little. So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? 
Hmm, what do you think? Not I? Maybe. They all said, yes, yes, of course. But the cat scraped most of the topping off of his share. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat each said? Hmm, do you think they're going to help with the dishes after they ate the pizza? Maybe. They each said, I will, I will, I will. And away they washed. And they did. All right, Guile, I can't wait to get started on our fun project for today. See you soon.